I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Christopher. Uh, no relation. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I am a writer from Shropshire. <laughs> okay. So um, I don't know if anybody knows Shropshire. Um, it's quite a big place, actually. It's one of these places that's bigger than you'd think. You know, um, if you see it on a map, it's only sort of few inches wide. But what in, in, in reality, it's actually much, much bigger. <laughs> So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a writer, like I said, and today what I'm going to do for you is read out one of my latest novels. Here it is. Okay, it's a little novel called Get a Brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so here we go. It's, sort of, it's a nice sort of length for a novel as well, sort of two sides of A5. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the novel that is. Get a brain. <laughs> Welcome to the first sentence of the book. <laughs> and now we're moving on to the second. <laughs> Andrew Shivers was sitting by himself in the playground. <laughs> but someone was about to approach who would bully him for the best part of the rest of the novel. Nicholas Big Boy was the tallest boy in the school for his height. <laughs> he was so cool, he wore a leather jacket and a leather shirt and tie as well. <laughs> Nicholas Big Boy burst into the playground and Andrew Shivers knew it was time to get bullied a clock. <laughs> hey, new boy, I like your trousers. Not <laughs> horrible. <laughs> Nicholas pushed him onto the floor and spat on him. <laughs> but Andrew said nothing. He thought about saying, get a brain. <laughs> but the words just wouldn't come out. <laughs> All of a sudden, a little voice came right out of someone's mouth behind them. <laughs> Leave him alone, Nicholas. Standing in the middle of the playground was a tiny little girl. No bigger than a hoover. About, about there. Her name was Moira Wisp. And she had so many freckles that it was quicker to count the gaps. <laughs> Nicholas, big boy, you're a bully. <gasps> Nicholas walked towards her, slapping his thighs together as he went. <laughs> he pushed her onto the floor and spat on her. And as little Moira wiped the spit off her face, a couple of tears came knocking on the doors of her eyes. She tried to keep the doors shut, but the tears just pushed them open. <laughs> and behind each tear, there was another tear waiting to come out. It was like revolving doors. And someone had left the electricity on, but turns them round. <laughs> there, there, said Andrew, tapping her on the eyes. But Nicholas found the whole thing rather funny, and he laughed so hard he was sick. <laughs> but then, out of nowhere, get a brain, Nicholas! Andrew Shivers stood firm, arms by his sides and fists where his hands used to be. <laughs> Nicholas couldn't believe it. His lower teeth said goodbye to his upper teeth, and his chin said hello to his chest. A handful of tears invited themselves to a party on his eyeballs. And soon the guest list was getting out of hand. <laughs> Nicholas ran away crying. Andrew was now the coolest boy in school. And he snogged the headmistress just to prove it. <laughs> Thank you very much.